Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another live commentary of Awesome Nods. I'm playing as Froggy G once again. He is, in fact, my favorite character and potentially my main. And as you may have noticed, I have no co partner. While I do have a co partner, he was just unable to get to the mic or was unable to uh, use his microphone, I should say. So I'm just on my own with the voice. And perhaps I could give you guys some insights to my thought process when I'm trying to be awesome in awesome nuts now this is going to be slightly annoying due to the fact that we do not have any communication besides the usual which is text chat but when it comes really down to it like when seconds matter the police is minutes away you can't really start typing in uh, chat when you are in mid combat of course so it's going to be interesting to see, and I'm a bit low on health, so I'm gonna go to the jungle, even though we already can tell on the minimap that the jungle is being robbed down by Shizzle. Let's see if anything is alive. Nope, nothing whatsoever. I'm gonna wait for the uh, health pack here in the anti-gravity field, because Yuri does not have his uh, heal yet. So he's gonna play some mines. It's only a one-lane mine, uh, a one-lane map anyway, unless you count the jungle with it, which is of course on top, so... There's no real threat unless you can see it coming, like Froggy G right there. So I'm actually thinking about getting some more sustain. Because I can't really rely yet on the fact that... Mm, what do I want to do? I'm going to go for sustain. Like I said, I can't really rely on Froggy G uh, or on Yuri, which of course is the flying monkey in the jetpack, to be... I could have also got these two health packs, my bad. To actually be healing me constantly because I don't even know if he has his heal yet because I don't know if now he's a, a friend of Shizzle's so we do have competent people the question is can we find some uncommunicated synchronization because we do have a good team we have a stun locker and a uh, pretty nasty tornado person which is of course me we have the, uh, the best initiating uh, character of course in the game with his uh, tongue right there, which is Leon, which actually has been nerfed, his crits and such, which was to be expected because those crits were in, were batshit insane. Whoop, migrating host right there, which is always slightly frustrating, but it happens, better than disconnecting I suppose. So right now we're just trying to level up and see what's up. I'm waiting for somebody to overextend so we can get a, um, a tongue pull, so my fellow team member can tongue the enemy with his tongue and then we can actually stun him and get the kill like that and that's right that's teamwork right there we don't even have any kind of communication going because this is all life I believe you can actually hear me click and such so as long as you have common sense and you understand how each character works you should be able to do some nice work right there now I'm, I don't really have much of a damage output right now and my stun is only 0.5 seconds long, which is not something I'm really happy with. I actually initially thought that there was no stun whatsoever uh, on Frogus G's dash. And as you can see right there, also you, you pull somebody through the mines and then everything just goes to hell. Let's see if I can get some damage in. Can I got a dash? Nope. Oh, uh, but that's a bit too risky. I don't want to get too greedy. I am Froggy G. Froggy G. The G I, I suppose the G stands for greedy sometimes, but... Oh, I should have actually... Ref I should have not chosen the shield, because I have this. Which is the last upgrade that you can get for the shield, I believe. Yeah, I will. Get some stun. Try to get some more utility. Get some, uh... Security and getting kills, perhaps. Because I actually said that wrong in a uh, previous video. On my previous video with Awesome Nuts. Which was also with, uh, Froggy G. Let's see. And one thing that worries me is that you don't have any communication, like instant communication in MOBAs. Now it's not that bad because I know that Shizzle is decent because I've played with him before. I play with him all the time. No pun intended, guys. Stick it base. Here we go. Oh, I missed that. Oh well. Nope, nope, nope. Love that anti-gravity field. But if you were to solo queue and there's no communication, which is always the case in most MOBAs, you'll find out that I'll... Like, I'm the type of person that just gets so frustrated with the game that I don't play it anymore. 
This is why I don't play Dota, League of Legends, Heroes of New Earth, etc, etc. Just can't do it anymore. Let's see. I find that with games like this you have to have a pre-made of friends and just have fun. Or it just doesn't work. Right there, nice stun, nice pull into the turret, nice stun. And that's how you really just mess up enemies that overextend, because they think they're awesome. And they probably are, if they have some synchronization with their abilities. And it doesn't seem that they do really have... That they really have that synchronization, because they're playing as Clunk, Prokiji, and... Of course, Lone Star, and... It's not really... They don't really have much of initiating... Of an initiation, because I find that... It either has to be... Froggy G, because of his dash, well, they have a Froggy G, so I guess they can initiate like that. But Lone Star is more of a, uh, especially when he has his Taurus, uh, when, it, when he has his ball, you just push people away, which tends to happen quite a bit. And then you start to uh, annoy Clunk, because he can't get with the snare. And I actually have to pay attention, because when I start thinking about other things besides the game itself, I might lose my situational awareness, which is kind of a big deal in games. Let's see what we got. Nope, I don't want to get in there, because if I get snared, I am dead. I don't have the health to sustain myself through such, such things. Use the snare. Oh, but he doesn't use an explosion. That's what I mean. That explosion hurts a lot. But as you can see, Yuri does have his heal, so I can sustain myself just a bit longer. As well as I got fired into the health pack, so... It was meant to be. Let's see. What you want to do? Come on, overextend. By the powers of gaming, I request of you to... No. Like, Froggy also has that ability, when you dash to the ground, you do more damage and such. A little splash uh, thingy, it's an umbread. Not really a big fan of that. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt them. Oh god, no! I will make my getaway! Oh, thank you, Yuri, for securing my safety, even though I didn't take any damage anyway, but... It's nice to think that he actually has in mind that he has to heal his team members. And that's what you don't usually see in support, they just... They don't really do much of anything. So I am going to get my Reflect, just so I can get in there and... You know, tank the damage, or reflect the damage I should say, without having to worry about... Uh, any of it too much. And I think from here on I'm gonna work on speed, and that was a text message, I'm not sure if you guys heard it, I apologize. I apologize for that, because I should have muted my phone. Let's see what we get here. Oh! Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Frustration! Imminent! <laughs> like, that's... I'm not sure who to play, I probably should have auto-attacked there. But... Yeah. What you gonna do? And like, as you can see, it hurts if you had... If you have that ability, it just hurts so much, but... We have Yuri with the heal. Getting a nice dash kill right there. Always lovely. Yeah, you can actually dash diagonal, so... Or diagonally. Is that even a word? I don't even know. I'm foreign. Don't judge. So it's good stuff. I'm gonna wait for him to overextend or for a pull. Because I am a low health um, notch. I don't wanna overextend myself too much. Oh, nice pull when he gets away, or when he was trying to get away. As you can see, Shizubot has the same feeling right there. That pull. No, don't want to sacrifice myself just yet. I feel like if we can get a pull, he's going to be dead. Yeah, exactly. Tornado power for the win. Or was that an auto attack? It was an auto attack, I believe. I shouldn't have retreated. Oh, that was my bad. Because I, I have to spend my solar to be a little bit more effective. Um, I feel like I want to do this and this. Cool reduction is always nice. But I go with speed because if you have the speed upgrade on your um, your tornado, you can actually increase yourself with the first upgrade. And then there's another upgrade which makes you very fast. And especially if you have a reflect and you have your um, explosion, which was the actual upgrade I was looking for instead of shield, you can imagine how that can work out in your benefit. And also, if you have that upgrade on your tornado, you can actually use another ability besides your dash to uh, get out or to get in. But I was, what I like to do is uh, get in, tornado, and uh, you usually uh, are decent in securing kills like that. Oh god, oh god, that's painful. What happened there? I didn't even see him. It's time to get some health. 
get you. Only one? Is there a health back over there? Yes, nice. Alright, let's see. Pull, pull him. Come on, you can do it. I, I can feel it, Chisel. I can feel it in your bones. I know you want to pull it. I know you want to use your tongue. There you go. Yeah, if you play with somebody for a very long time, you just know how they start to think. So, that's always good. This is also why I prefer to have a set team, because if you find yourself in a position where communication is not working for whatever reason, or you don't hear the person, you can actually just... Let's see. Another speed. You can actually still continue. And apparently they have just uh, rage quitted, but now they have a bot Leon, so they have a pool now as well. As well as... Their Froggy G actually rage quitted. Oh, interesting. But now they have a pool, which can actually be better for their team, especially with their clunk. And clunk, they just blow you up if you don't watch out. I'm not sure what happened there, but apparently we got a kill. I'm okay with that. Like sometimes you just in this in this game, sometimes things go so quickly you don't even have time to react. And there's a Yuri just laying mines or going uh, hovering above the turret and just laying mines in front of the turret. Very obnoxious tactic. So let's see, I'm waiting for a pull. I think he wants to do it. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, nice. And what a lot of uh, Froggy G's tend to forget sometimes, because they don't have the latest upgrade uh, on the um, on the auto attack where you have a split bullet, they forget to use their auto attack unless they specifically spec into that. And I don't even have that upgrade yet, I'm not high enough level, I think it's like a really... Like very close to uh, max level before you can actually get that upgrade. They now have a healer as well. Let's see if we can kill him. Yes, tornado kill. I think one of my other kills was actually an auto attack instead of a tornado kill, but a kill's a kill. A kill's a kill. They don't have any bots anymore, so that's good. So they they have now uh, that Leon. Oh, wait, that was was of course a bot, so that actually makes sense. So what do they have now? They can be very dangerous. But we are destroying their turrets quite nicely, and I'm just making sure their minions don't push through. But I think it's, I think it's time for me to actually get into uh, the situation up here. Really, you're gonna taunt me? I'll just taunt you back. Pressing one taunts, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, pressing two actually requests help. There you go. You wanna do this? I've got a tornado. I've got guns! you got nothing else but your fancy knives. Oh wait, your knives are your fancy karate tricks. Misquoting at one of your favorite movies is always a good thing to do. And with that I mean it's never a good thing to do. Some more damage, some more sustain. Probably should have gone for health. Yeah, I should have gone for health instead of the uh, regen now that I uh, have a Yuri as well. Of course, that's actually good in healing. So my mistake right there. But... I don't know, I am a big fan of sustainability, and I know a lot of people don't like me taking my speed instead of um, the uh, the piggy bank, which allows you to start off with a uh, higher amount of solar. But I've had a very long... I've had very long matches, and I suppose if, you, if I play Froggy G, I should actually switch it out for piggy bank, because I have the tornado and I have the dash for speed-related things. So a uh, piggy bank should actually be quite beneficial. So that's what I'm going to change out before any one of you rages. Which probably is already a thing that's going to happen. Because we are currently about 50 minutes into the video while we win. And this is pretty much my thought process when I'm playing Froggy G without communication of my team. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if it helped you guys in playing this game as Froggy G. My job here is somewhat... Successful. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.